What better way is that? Live. Yeah, life short. So that's why I've changed now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to end the video. Yeah, but nah. Yeah. Alright, so we're here with another video. This is the first video in the series of interviews here in Korea. And today we're interviewing someone I met here. His name's Kyo. And we've known each other for about maybe like a couple months now. So we're gonna see what his answers to my questions are. And as I said from the previous video, these are very similar to the questions that I've been asking in every country. And with a little bit of a caveat. So, you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to the first question then. Uh, can you introduce yourself for people who don't know who you are? Oh, hi guys, I'm Kyo. I'm 30 years old. I'm Korean, but I'm half, half Korean, half Japan. <laughs> what do I have to say more? <laughs> uh, I'm tour conductor now. So, I end up this year, I, I'm going to South America and other ways, uh, America and Japan. It's Europe. Around that area, I was uh, working there. I, I was an iOS developer before that, but just now I really want to go outside, like it's a traveling, <laughs> kind of. So, <laughs> so that's why I've changed now. Yeah. Uh, for someone going to Korea, what is one piece of advice that you give them? Uh, if you really want, want, to, want to come to Korea, the uh, most important thing is uh, you need to know about the Korean greeting. It's kind of like, like, 안녕하세요, 감사합니다. It's most important because it's if you say in first dialogue, 안녕하세요, everybody, every, every Korean is uh, try to care about you. You're saying that people should know a little bit about the language before they come? Oh, yeah, right. It's not, it's not about the Korean. It's about the old or around the world. I guess so. Just a little languages could be help to anyone. Hmm, yeah. Over your lifetime, what is one piece of advice you give them? I guess don't listen too much from others. Because when I was young, back in the days, my parents, my grandfather, grandmother, my teacher, my friends, whenever I do try new something, they said to me, don't do, don't do that. You can't. They just say like every time. But uh, I always wanted to study like English, Japanese. I couldn't expect that it's a good or not for my future. But for now, uh, as I say, I'm tour conductor. I saw all, everything was uh, connecting to my work. So if you want to do so something, just do it. Just don't care about the from others. So just to do it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like things worked out for you in the end. Like, do you think that if you studied something or pursued something, even though it doesn't make sense to do it now, maybe later it might be helpful to you? Oh, yeah, right. So point, point is, is uh, don't too much care about the from to others speaking. Yeah, just uh, if you want to that, just, uh, you need to make your mind. What better way is that live? Yeah, life short. <laughs> what about your life would you change right now? Oh, it's a pretty hard, hard question. To be honest, I really want to lose my way because the last one year I gained uh, kind of 20 kilograms because <laughs> I, really, I really like it, like to eat everything. <laughs> if there's uh, some kind of or lots of food in front of me, I can eat everything. <laughs> it's kind of delicious. <laughs> yeah, so for my, for my future, for my life, I think I need to weigh my, uh, losing my weight. Is there a goal? Is there like a weight that you want to get to? And how long do you think it'll take you? For six months, I want to lose my weight 10, 10 kilograms. Not, not the skin, it's a like, just like, looks good, <laughs> looks good body. <laughs> and to eat, to study, to exercise, yeah, to live. <laughs> In the next 10 years, what do you hope to accomplish? When it comes to next 10 year life whew. <laughs> even I don't have any dating someone like you've never dated anybody oh I didn't say it like that oh. uh, even I don't have any ah I don't have dating someone now oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna get married in 10 10 years oh, really? yeah and having a what one one or two baby <laughs> my goal is kind of have a good family yeah just in weekend hold my wife hand and baby hand
just a walk around the park or lake just so having a fun good weekend i want to arrive yeah as a korean person what do you think korean people value the most most korean people think valuable thing is a relationship mm. so in korean language also we have former language it's 존댓말 반말 존댓말 it's a, we have two kind of type example is 안녕하세요 it's a former language to hello it's a 안녕 is a kind of normal normal language yeah. to like two friends can say that so so in school university company also we can avoid the communicate people right yeah. so in company even i work working there if i get gets a lot of stress i think it's not that about the, my work it's about from the relationship yeah better relations you could get the lots of stress but good relations can make the sinus sinus can can i could get a stress, stress from my friends hangumaro mal hal su isoyo kenchnae hangukoro maragetsumida ah yeongo no oreumdeo ke hanguk saramdeuri ide gajang chugaeun gachiga jeonne ingan gangeo seungakgeo ne jo sajeul jaega jeom geureon pyeonindae 인간관계라는 게 어디에 있든 피할 수 없잖아요 사람을 그래서 어디에 있든 간에 이제 어디 중요하다기보다는 이제 거기서 누구랑 일하느냐 뭐 여행도 누구랑 가느냐 뭐 집에서 지내는 것도 누구랑 지내느냐가 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다 그래서 이제 저는 진짜 인간관계가 가장 중요하지 않나 인간관계가 이제 삶의 행복에 직결되는 가장 큰 문제라고 생각해서 이제 인간관계가 어, 중요하다고 생각하고 있습니다. That's the end of the interview with Kyo. Uh, we were doing it in a Holly's coffee, so hopefully you can hear our responses because there's music in the background. There's a lot of background noise, so. I hope everyone can understand what was being said. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do these interviews in a more quiet place, but at least for now, it's going to have to be in these public areas. Let's give a round of applause for Kyo. If you just um, put something nice in the comment section for him because it was kind of tough for him to speak English. He's good at English, but I know it's a little bit tough because it's not his native language. So, put something in the comments. I think that'd be uh that'd be nice for him to see maybe later. Yeah, uh thank you all for watching the interview. Remember this is like the first interview in this series and we have some more people to come. So, Kyo, do you have anything you want to say to the camera? It was a good interview. Thanks to Nolan everything. <laughs> thank you for set up. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for copy. <laughs> it was a pretty good. Yeah. It's it's not that good at English for me, but it's a pretty fun time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe 10 10 years later if I have have a chance to see this video yeah maybe it's gonna be fine ah, it's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you for everything all right so thank you all for watching and see you in the next interview bye <laughs>